Hey guys, we're Trader Aficionado channel and Reefs.com. How are you guys doing today? Uh, this is another episode of a vlog of my personal aquariums. And this is something that is very close to my heart. Anytime anybody sets up any kind of tanks, I strongly, always, always strongly recommend that you cover your tanks. And the reason why I ask people to do that is not because of the monetary reasons, but we are so invested in the animals that we put it in our aquariums. And it's not a matter of if, it's, I believe it's a matter of when. I have seen countless fish uh, jump out of aquariums. That's their natural instinct. Um, you know, if something's being chased, you know, be, being chased or being feeling threatened, they'll jump up. And a lot of times they'll and carpet surf or, you know, we'll find them behind their tank all crispy. And, and it's heartbreaking to see our beloved animals in that state. Um, you know, and then I decided to go with there was many different brands that are out there, but uh, particularly one that stands out to me was a DND Jump Guard, and I like that brand because, well, I'll let a professional tell you about that brand in general and why I chose that. And here is my good friend Hernando Rocha of Elite Marine Life by Captive Seas in Pompano Beach, Florida, to tell you a little bit more of what I choose and why I chose it. Check it out. This is Hernando Rocha from Elite Marine Life in Pompano Beach, Florida. We're here today at Richards working on his new build. This is the Elos Diamond Series 200 XL. I believe it's the largest aquarium that they currently make. If you guys like what you see, you can actually pick one up at a Worldwide Corals or Elos America. Today we're going to be installing a jump guard for the aquarium, a net top, and this one is made by DD Aquariums. Richard chose this specific brand because of a few key design reasons that uh, you know we like what they're doing over the other ones. Uh, before we get onto the build, let's try to discuss why we need a, a net cover over the tank. Some of the reasons why we would need a, a top on the aquarium, especially something with a net to you know, allow the gas exchanges, is uh, just to keep the fish inside of the tank. It's not if, but when uh, one of the fish decide to take that leap out of the tank, they could be being, they could be being chased by another fish, uh, some work going around the tank and the fish get startled and the immediate reaction is to go up and away from danger. Uh, it's not about the money that we have invested in the hobby, it's about the time that it's taking us to build these beautiful boxes full of water with all these creatures. And, and knowing Richard, you know, uh, and the love that he has for wrasses in particular, so he doesn't want to take a chance on uh, any of his fish. And you know, he's got a pretty good taste. And uh, you know, this is one of the easiest way to provide that safety for uh, you know, our fish. That's the reason why, or I believe that we need the net covering because of cats, to keep cats out of the water, but that's another video. It's not that expensive and you can find these guys in the, your local fish store or your favorite online retailer. As far as the design and the reason why we went with this one over the other one, uh, if you look at them with all the other products out there in the market, they're pretty similar. You know, I mean, they all do one thing, they sit on a rimless tank. The reason why we like this one a little bit over the other ones is if you look in the frame, the actual frame has this flange that actual, the whole thing is gonna sit over the lip of the tank and it's not gonna allow the little bowing effect that uh, you get over the, the other brands. So that was pretty good. One of my favorite features on this is they actually give you a full size spline tool over the other ones, there's an itty bitty tiny tool. I like big tools. Once you open it, all the parts are there, everything is marked. There's a few things that you're gonna need. Uh, pencil or pen, piece of paper, and a uh, measuring tape. Measure twice, cut once. Measure three times, cut once. And um, you're gonna need a saw, either a, a hack saw, or you can get an electrical saw like a chop saw. That's what we're gonna to use today, make things a lot easier. And let's go do some measurements and do a little sketch. And once we feel comfortable with the measurements, then we'll start cutting away. All right, we just measured the tank and the tank is 77 and a half by 30 and 3 eighths. And knowing these measurements, Richard went online and he ordered the, the kits that I, he wanted to use. 
they have a small, medium, and large, and instead of getting the large one, because it wasn't big enough to cover the complete tank, he chose two of the medium-sized ones. So we're gonna have two panels, you know, one for each side of the tank. One of the things to keep in mind is, because uh, Elos have uh, designed that their own type of uh, overflows, only Elos has this type of design, and it's actually not like any of the other tanks that I've seen, that they either have one center overflow or two overflows in the back, they actually have a corner overflow. So we have to, you know, we got enough pieces ordered so we can go around the overflow. That way there's ease of access, you can work in and around it and it shouldn't be any problems that having to remove both pieces of the, of the cover just to work on the overflow. This way he can access it without any problems at all. Thing to consider when, uh, once we have the frame you know, put together and we're getting ready to put the screen, just make sure to lay the, the screen flat because right now it's gonna have this, you know, the memory from being in the tube, that's how they ship it. Lay it out flat, let it relax, that's what I say, I, you know, let it relax. And once we, we're putting the screen on the frame, don't pull too tight one way or another. Do one side, work on the opposite side, and then pull the sides gently. You don't wanna put too much pressure because you don't wanna have you know, the lines to be off. You want, you want nice, straight, sharp, uh, sharp lines. One thing that uh, I would suggest to the engineers of DND is uh, to consider the designing like a little feeding porthole or anything that you can add to the top. That way you don't have to lift the whole screen, you know, to throw food in the tank. It's just easier just to either slide a little door or lift it up and throw a little bit of food. And one more thing to, uh, Keep in mind is when you're measuring to make your, your final cuts, is uh, let's say if you measure this piece 30 and 3 eighths, and then you have your ends. That way you don't have to cut, then go back inside, cut, measure, go back outside and cut again. Make sure that you take those measurements from the back side of the, of the corner pieces and take that away from uh, the, the original measurement. It was uh, 30 and 3 eighths minus, it's gonna be roughly three quarters of an inch that we're gonna have to take away from both ends. We just finished installing two of the DND jump guards and Richard's tanks, one for the JBJ 25 gallon rimless and the one for the Elos 200 XL. It was fairly easy compared to the other kits that I've used you know, in the past. This is actually my new favorite. There was a couple of things that I really like. I like the fact the frame has a, like an actual protective sleeve on it. So when you're done, you can actually peel it and you're finished especially if you're using a miter box. So this keeps it from getting any scratches or anything when you're, you're using the saw. The tool is actually a lot sturdier than the ones from, from the other kits, so that was pretty good. All the parts that they give you with the, the accessory kit, all the zigzags and you know, the cutouts to go around brackets, overflows and everything. So it was, it was actually a nice kit to put together. Once again, my name is Hernando Rocha from Elite Marine by Captive Seas and see you guys next time. And once again, my name is Hernando Rocha from Captive Seas. Elis Elos. Yep. All right. The razzle. <laughs>